and Sam Kiefer is one of a, a generation of German artists who came to prominence in the late 70s and early 80s. Um, he was associated with a, a response, uh, an echo of expressionism in some respects, but actually his work was always more than that and particularly politically engaged in the ways in which it addressed uh, the problems of what was then a divided Germany and how that could be uh, could face up to its very difficult history. Palm Sontag is an extraordinary installation that involves over 30 paintings all around um, two meters high and an incredibly lifelike palm tree which has almost fallen into the gallery space. The palm tree itself is actually fabricated. It's not a real palm tree, but once you're in the space, it's very hard to um, discern whether it is a, um, a real, the real thing or not. It's been made to absolute precision to um, using a lot of the materials that one would find in the natural world. He uses clay, he uses mud, um, as well as more conventional paint and medium. Um, and the, the build-up of layers on the palm tree allows us to have this incredibly lifelike um, image of the texture and quality of the bark of the tree. That, that moment between kind of glory and suffering is what Anselm Kiefer is, I think, interested in his work. Um, the sense of decay and the sense of the material being decayed. I think Kiefer likes to keep his works uh, a little bit open in their associations, although he's made it very plain that, by calling it Palm Sonntag, Palm Sunday, that this is a work that somehow responds to the Easter story in the Christian story. So he's searching through the imagery that that story evokes, and obviously the way in which the palm fronds are placed during Christ's entry in, into Jerusalem the week before Easter is uh, the trigger. But I think he is also more concerned with bigger ideas of spirituality and commitment and myth-making that can spin off from these very specific details that come through the items that he uses. So he's also using brambles and small items of clothing and hair and other things that evoke other sorts of stories, other um, myths and fairy stories and layers in that way, rather than making a work that is simply about Christian iconography.